Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope y'all are doing great. I'm doing okay. So let's just talk about stuff, okay? A box, it says 25 piece storage box system. And this comes from Harbor Freight Tools. I wanna say I spent maybe under $5 for this. I, don't quote me, I bought this a long, long, long time ago. I just took the plastic off of it because that is my life, right? So the reason why I got this is because I buy a lot of craft stuff that needs division and sorted because it's a crazy sorter person that lives in my head okay and she unfortunately has decided that she wants to come out right before the holidays who is this person i have no clue i'm not even sure why she does this so i want to say if you do a, a search on youtube for like organizational things you'll see many people tell you to go to harbor freight tools i want to say fair because i used to live in a apartment it's called fair harbor a harbor fair or something like that landing when i lived in connecticut but i got this because i need to do a little bit of bead sorting i had told myself that i was going to live vicariously through someone that just kind of picks things up and doesn't do that but we went shopping the big roommate the big roommate and the little roommate and i went shopping and i bought this and I was like, oh, yes, I want to get that. And he was like, do you really need that? And I was like, yes, I need it because I want to break it down and remake stuff. So just a little bit of backstory. Well, let's talk about this first. First of all, these Jingle Bells are driving me bananas. I just want to tell you that right away. But this was 10 bucks, and you get 12 of these. Now, you don't have to... Um, Yeah, those Jingle Bells are going to be annoying. <laughs> You don't have to break down the thing. You can wear it like this. And you can drive your co-workers absolutely insane while at the Christmas party doing all that nonsense. I probably would not wear this to work because my co-workers would be like, Brandy, please, can you take the thing off? And then it'd be a big old discussion about jewelry. And then later on, they come out with a policy about noise and stuff like that. So, yeah, I don't want to incite that kind of things with you. But you may be one of those Christmassy people that wear the light, bright, ugly sweaters. Every day of December, you are super cheery. If that is you, uh, look away. Um, I'm going to try to get rid of these bells as quickly as possible. So we have 12 bracelets, right? We have, I want to say we have four gold and we have eight see how quick i did that math we have eight silver which is fine because i'm not a big gold crafter anyway but on this on this one particular piece we'll use the um gold one we have three charms so right here if we get if we take our four and times it times three then you get um 12 right you get 12 and then you add the other eight so you get enough charms for ten dollars not only that you get all these little pieces right here the reds and i don't know what these are called but a lot of people use them i just call them spacer beads but you use those um and then you get these bells these annoying bells but they're already everything's already on a jump ring already so you don't have to worry about that this one needs to be fixed though it's a little bit off but i like to buy jewelry like this and i like to cut it up and I like to use the things now the one thing that is really bad is destroying good jewelry unless that's what you really want to do and I like to destroy good jewelry and good jewelry is jewelry that is functional <laughs> like this is a functional annoying bracelet and I'm going to put these jingle bells on the project that we work on in upcoming videos but you know, in order to get organized, in order to really get focused and be serious about your Christmas um, projects, this is a very inexpensive way to make multiples of one versus going to the store and hoping that they have a coupon or hoping that the string beads that you really like, because these are really cute, right? These are super cute, um, are on sale and they may not be. So... We're just going to do a little bit of sorting and chit-chatting. Now, the one thing I would tell you is that you pro I, I know I'm not going to keep this piece on the, um, the charm. I'm going to take this off because 
I don't want to have to fight with this to be on my chunky charm, right? So I'm going to do this. Now, the, the sorter in me has 25 boxes. And I can tell you right now that at the end of this project, I probably will have zero boxes because what's going to end up happening is i'm going to go through this multiple times and i'm going to be like oh i don't like it like this i don't want to put like i don't want to put the silver with the gold i don't want to put these um with that i don't want to i've lost one i don't want to put these with those because these colors are not the same as those if you can see these are a little bit lighter right so i'm going to be like are these the same i can't tell and it may just be the color reflecting and then i'm gonna put everything together and we can come back and we can talk about organization okay so we've used nine so far right nine and let's just talk these two greens are different i want to say that the reds may be different as well and then these right here so will you be able to use all of this stuff on a jump ring maybe uh will you be able to use all of this stuff on a chunky charm maybe so like with this right here you can definitely put this on an eye pin or a head pin or whatever and you can put these beads next to it and it can dangle like that but i like for my charms to dangle by themselves so i'll probably be taking this off but then i can turn back around and put something else on here maybe a different charm and make a bracelet or a pair of earrings or things like that so um, I want to just talk to you about this. First of all, I did not tell you all this, but I pay for this with my own money, as you can probably tell. Um, hopefully you can tell. I wasn't sp no sponsor or anything like that. Um, and I just wanted to come on and share with you the struggles more so than anything of a, a serial crafter. Um, because I don't just do paper crafting. I have more than one hobby um when it comes to creating different things so you know you always for me it's always about space talk about this right here these little the bracelets i did not buy it from a wholesale store i bought it from a regular store that sells wholesale items i guess because you you know normally you wouldn't really buy a pack a one thing of earring 10 pack or 12 packs of earrings for 10 bucks so the store definitely sells oh crud i did it already see she already she already mad at me the sort of lady that is i put the silver and gold together who would have thunk it it just made sense to me to keep space right so i probably will do that because i'm going to end up taking those things off anyway yep that's fine um but you know i can make a i could come back and i can just take red and blue and drive myself crazy and make a, a bracelet from this so we will be exploring the all the the rams of what we're gonna make and i do have some boxes left over i have i don't think all of these will fit in what i have here so this is what 12 necklaces look like right i didn't count the pieces i'm not that pressed by it and I didn't use all 25 of the containers, which is cool because I need to use these for some other sorted sorting things. But we had one lone piece that did not fit and we have this left over. So this is really cool. Now, I do like to kind of keep some of my stuff sorted. I know regular Brandy likes that. The sorted lady loves it. But I like to be able to just go to my shelf and say, okay, I'm going to make a Christmas themed something and pull it out right now. I'm working out of a drawer and then I look on my shelf and see what I, I want and I'll grab it like that. But this is going to make it so much easier because, you know, you can have your Christmas, your winter, your uh, fall, birthday, whatever, you know, different colors already sorted out and just put together. And this little storage container, again, this is not sponsored. No, I paid for this with my own money and I bought these things a while back because I was like, I need to get myself organized. One thing I don't like about this little... Uh, storage system is that the, the boxes can be loose a lot of my storage systems have lines in it and it doesn't cause a lot of movement um, but I like this because they if, if it moves no worries it's okay once it's moving around hopefully the boxes don't open and you are good to go right and then we can just put on we can even recycle this put this right here and put Christmas jewelry 
Christmas charms or snowman, Christmas tree, and bells, red and blue, right? And then there you go. Now you can see that it can cause some movement, and that's the only thing I don't like about that. But overall, I do enjoy this. I did enjoy sorting out, and I will be making some chunky charms very soon because I was asked and I bought those with intention of making chunky charms but I want to bring you something a little bit different than I normally do I know I did a organization video last year <laughs> maybe in 2018 and here we are almost finished with 2020 and she's doing another one what a weirdo anyway I want to say thank you all for watching I hope that you've enjoyed this this was very very fun for me I do like sorting so thank you for watching again. Until next time, happy crafting.